What's up guys, on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to deconstruct the car lease. In particular, this one here, brand new BMW M3 with my longtime friend, Jonathan Adler. You know who he is. We go to the track together. He's a motorcycle guy. More importantly, he's a finance guru. He told me that he saved $5,000 over the life of this lease, which is insane. Something like $850 a month down to 700 a month. So I asked him to show me the step-by-step -step process that everybody can do on any car. So we're gonna go back to his office and he's gonna do that. That and more coming up on this sopping wet episode of Drive and Protect. All the way in so that they sit on top. Oh. Touch up paint on. I can hear it. Picking up a new vehicle, especially a sports car, is a big deal in the life of a car enthusiast. But before he signs the deal and we inspect the paint together, I wanted to understand the basic math and negotiation techniques he used to save $5,000 and ultimately use this savings to upgrade his car with some cool stuff, no down payment, and with taxes rolled into the payment. All right, Jonathan, we talked on the phone and you showed me that this car you were buying was originally eight fifty three a month you basically got it down to 703 a month and saved $5,000 in the act. Everybody watching this video is like, how the heck did you possibly do this? So explain uh, the process of how you figure this out. All right, real simple. This mm -hmm. is something everybody can calculate no matter what car it is. I've wanted one of these for ages. So I just went to BMW USA's website. There's a button that or says- Or Honda office. Civic or Chevy or, or whatever. whatever, got and it. There are their lease offers and you can pull all the information right off the website. You need to know five basic elements to do this. You need to know the lease payment. There it is. 769. Now they're advertising a base model, right? Yeah, it's a basically stripped out M3. Got it. No, no real options. Got it. So payment, the MSRP, the sticker price of the car they're advertising, mm -hmm. the term, how many months, if there's any money down, and something they call a cap cost, which I'll explain in a second. So these five things? Five things you can deconstruct a lease and you can figure out how to get the money. Off. You gotta show me this. So Larry, these are the five things that we need, right? We need the monthly payment, mm -hmm. the term, how many months or years, sure. the MSRP or sticker price, the down payment, if any, and this thing called a cap cost, which we'll get to in a second. Okay. So right off the ad, they're advertising 769. Oh yeah, it's right on the website. Yeah, 769 a month for this particular car, three years or 36 months. And they, if you read into the block of the, the fine print, they have the MSRP, which is the sticker price of the one that they're advertising, 67595 which is a very lightly equipped M3. If you dig a little deeper, it shows with a down payment of $3,000. Mm -hmm. So who's making that down payment? You are the buyer, basically. Yeah, so if I give them $3,000, that's my payment. So if I didn't want to give them the $3,000, like, would that be, you know, higher That'd Obviously lower? be higher. It would be higher. Right. So I don't want to give them a $3,000 down payment for, because really, what, what are you doing? If the car got stolen the next day, I'd be out my $3,000. I'd have to start over again. This I'm, is why people don't give down payments. One of the reasons. One of the reasons why they don't. And really, all you're doing is you're just prepaying the lease payment. So what I did is I wanted to calculate what the real, the true lease payment that they're advertising. So essentially, they're, they're making, they're doing this. So that it just gets a lower number. Yeah. So you, you're like marketing wise, you're like, oh my gosh, this is how I can have an M3 for this much. Yeah. And the fine print is, well, you're putting tons of money down. But if you want an M3 for $500 a month, you can just put down 15 grand or something like that. Right. right? That's insane to so me. So it's, okay. it's just moving monies from left pocket it's, to right. And in other words, I think it's wonderful marketing. It's great marketing. It's, it. not, it's not untruthful. Mm -hmm. It just may not make sense. Got right? it. So I wanted to figure out what the real deal that they're advertising is. So first, I just said, let's take the $3,000 and I'm not going to give it to them. So I divide that by the term of 36 months and I'm not gonna prepay $84 of monthly payments. Got it. So if I take the advertised deal of 769 and I add the $84 to it, this is really the deal that they're advertising. That's the non-smoke and mirrors. This, right, the no money down Got deal. Got it, from a, from a layman perspective, right. I say no smoke and mirrors. Yeah. That's, the, that's a true price right that's there. That's the true monthly payment. Of a base car. Of the pretty lightly equipped car. Okay, right? fine. So um, <laughs> it has a couple things in it. So, so now I've got monthly payment, term, MSRP, down payment, cap cost. Yeah. Well, if I read deeper into the ad, I see this thing that says adjusted cap cost, $64,219. What is that? That's the selling price minus my down payment. Right. So I said, well, simple math. I said, I take the MSRP of 67. Sticker price. Sticker price. Got it. I take off the 3,000 that I want You don't want to pay them. that, yeah. That's 64,595, which is slightly higher than this adjusted cap cost. The difference being 376 bucks, bucks, which in the ad they say is dealer participation, which is essentially 
the discount. So if you're, if you're gonna go buy a car for 67 grand and the dealer was like, I'm gonna give you 376 bucks. I'm not gonna feel really stoked about that. <laughs> it's not a smoking deal? Yeah, what percentage is that? It's like half of 1%. <laughs> so I figure there is, there's more to be had. Here, sure, right? sure. There's so room to play. There's, there's definitely room there. So yeah. the next thing is I did my research, right? So here's where the empowerment of information comes into play. So I went to, you know, websites of True Car and... There's a hundred of them out there. Ton, well, Basically no, getting out. like the real value of what the market is right now yeah. for that particular car. I want to see what that car should be going for, for a modest profit that the dealership is happy to accept and something that I would like to get. I think of it this way, like I'm selling a house. I want X amount of dollars for the house, but guess what? The market is only really going to bear this price. I can see that the dealership would do the same thing. Hey, we want this much for it. And you're like, I'll pay this much. And I don't think people understand that they can do that on a lease. That's kind of fascinating. Right. So we think about it on a buy, you know, right. on a lease. At the end of the day, it's, it's all the same thing. Cool. Cap costs, selling costs, same thing. So this worked out to about an 8% discount, which is a substantial one, but somewhere out there is a dealer that's going to do it. They can also just say, no, I don't want to give it they that say, to you. No, right, exactly. Right. So, you know, hey, it's the middle of the winter or the tail in the winter, good time to buy a high performance car. This right? is true. So that worked out to a $5,400 discount. So if I just say, now I've got my real advertised price of A53, if I take my discount, divide it by 36 months, I get a $150 difference, which would be the monthly overpayment. So then I go here and I simply take the advertised, essentially sticker price right. deal of 853 I take off the 150 a month that would be my discount, right? and I come up to a $703 monthly payment, which is really like, what you can hopefully get that car for. Right. right? If you negotiate down that selling I'm price. with you, I'm with you. So what I did, that was a starting point in my conversations with them, is that I really want to be able to get that car they're advertising, that lightly equipped car for 703, and then they want to bake into things that I want in that car. Later on. Later on. Well, Once I've established that's my deal, then I can say, I want to add a couple of performance or convenience items. So my 703 car went to 766 because I added in some stuff that I really wanted in the car. Makes sense. Right? And then I added the sales tax and I am at Eight seventy nine a month, and that is a no money down deal. Meaning, I'm giving them the first payment and some license plates, and I'm out of there. So essentially, you saved five thousand dollars by doing a little bit. Very seems like very basic math, uncovering the things that maybe they don't necessarily want you to know, and then you took that five thousand dollars savings and jammed it into some cool stuff that you want. Yeah, I mean, you could, either I could have taken a car at seven hundred three, or I could say, well, now I'm gonna I'm basically back to the deal they were advertising, but I'm getting five thousand dollars worth of stuff in my car and I have the tax in there too, which I'd have to pay on this. Unbelievable. That's without tax. That's right? pretty cool. So yeah. So the only thing that's really left is to pick this thing up. Can we do that? <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. First, we headed to the office to sign a ton of paperwork. I wanted to see the real numbers and how they laid out on the actual buyer's order sheet. One thing you'll notice on the contract is Jonathan had the dealership physically write in, do not remove the plastics, so we could perform the next step before leaving the dealership lot. More on that in a bit. Jonathan, show me the real numbers on the buyer's order versus what we just talked about in the classroom. All right, cool. So you'll see the top line number here, 6547. That's essentially the selling price the adjusted selling price off of a window sticker price or MSRP of 71675 which represents essentially an 8% plus discount. And we're working from that number. Now the add-ins, the things I wanted in the car are already baked into that because on this sticker there's different packages, performance and uh, convenience items and such. So we add in a $600 maintenance program which gets me the uh, brake pads and brake rotors and clutch and so on and so forth. Uh, added in, so that gets added to that number. Then we have uh, New York State sales taxes based on 8.375% right there, uh, $10 New York State waste tire fee, and about $110 of registration. So that is we're almost at our adjusted cap cost. We just have to add a, what's called a bank acquisition fee, which unfortunately is going to be added to that and get us to our final adjusted cap cost. Once the deal was signed, we asked if we could borrow the detail bay for 15 minutes to unwrap the plastics and take a first-hand look at the true condition of the paint and interior. Rule number one is to never let the dealer remove any plastic coverings. Do it yourself so nothing can be hidden, covered up, sanded, or repaired without your knowledge beforehand. Rule number two, if possible, do the inspection at the actual dealership before you go home to immediately address any issue you may find. All right, guys, we've shown you how to calculate your lease and how to actually get the car. Now, if you put this into the lease, you can, you can work 
and, and undress the car, we call it, uh, afterwards. So I actually have Jonathan right now. I'm sort of inspiring him to use a bunch of these things. Now I'm gonna link a video to show you how, uh, how I did it on a uh, GT3 RS um, and all the issues we found. At first glance at this car, BMW paint is spectacular. We removed the top white sticker and then the back and the front and everything looks uh, exactly how it should be, which is refreshing. Um, but I'm trying to show you that Jonathan right now is actually working on pulling off all the pieces, all the uh, plastic on the seats. And while he's doing that, he's inspecting it. Now, not everyone's gonna have a paint depth gauge, but if you can get access to one, it is a lifesaver. Now I've done this a few times around the car. It's all within four to five mils, totally normal. Uh, the door jams are about three or so. Again, totally normal. Nothing is jumping out. This is exactly uh, what you wanna see when you're, when you're doing a car. If you have a light, again, I'll put this on the video or send, put a link up. Uh, I'm gonna show Jonathan how to extend your hand out and your arm out like this so you can see if there's any dents or any dings or any waves in the panel. This is all something um, you do when you uh, buy a car and you're mentally insane like he is and we are and you're buying an amazing car. Uh, this is something that you should do and take uh, ownership of. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned uh, a bunch about how to calculate a lease and then what to do uh, right here when you're uh, in the detailing bay. It's kind of cool. So if you have questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.